This is the Bobby Ho Show. And in this episode, I'm curious about what would a crossover episode of Living Single and Friends look like? Friends is 25 this year, and as y'all know, it is going strong. Gen X loves it, millennials love it, even Gen Y loves it. It's one of the top shows on Netflix, and it'll be one of the main draws when it moves to HBO Max. Friends is still making millions and millions of dollars. But Friends, for those of you who didn't know, took its premise from the Queen Latifah-led sitcom, Living Single. Now, this is no internet conspiracy. These are facts. Living Single premiered in 1993, a year before Friends. Both shows are about six young singles sharing an apartment building in New York City. Both shows were made by Warner Brothers, and Living Single was almost called Friends. Queen Latifah has told the story about how uh, the then president of NBC Entertainment, Warren Littlefield, said in an interview that the show he most wanted on the NBC schedule was Living Single. And Friends, of course, would go on to air on NBC. Or, as Erica Alexander put it, Friends is a really good sample of living single. Now, if Marvel can create a universe where all of these different superhero franchises come together, I wonder, what would it look like if these super sitcom universes were mashed up? Now, I don't know Friends too well. During its heyday, I too was a 20-something living in New York City. But I was living at home in my high school bedroom, paying rent to my mom. I didn't have a TV, and I sure didn't have hanging in the coffeehouse money. So I never really connected to friends, and I never then picked it up uh, once I actually got a TV and cable. But I did watch Living Single when I was in college, so I'm going to set this episode in the Brooklyn of Living Single. Now, what in the Giuliani New York 90s would ever bring these two worlds together? Maybe Regine, who's a wedding planner, wants to hire Monica to cater a wedding, and so she asks to meet her. But Monica doesn't want to travel to Brooklyn alone, so she brings the whole squad with her. The Friends crew gets on the subway and gets lost and almost gives up to head back to Manhattan. But then Phoebe starts playing guitar in the Atlantic Avenue subway station. Sinclair walks by and starts to sing along. Then she finds out who they are, realizes that they're headed to her house, and takes them all home to meet Regine. Once there, the whole, all the different uh, friend groups decide to break the ice over a game of taboo. Joey tries to kick it to Khadijah. Rachel loves Maxine's braids, tells her about how the time she went to Jamaica and got hers done too, reaches out her hand and almost loses it. Kyle and Ross bond over their love of knowing random stuff, and then Chandler is amazed that Overton actually knows how to fix stuff. Monica decides that she loves Brooklyn and wants to open up a restaurant there and ask Regine to be an investor. Scooter, a.k.a. Black Lightning, comes by to pick Khadijah up for a date, and then Joey just wants to go back to Central Park. Can someone please make this episode happen? I'm Bobby Ho. That's my show. And that's what I was curious about this week. Outro arrangement by Ivy Sparrow Music.